I'm Joe and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use the Python debugger. The Python debugger is a built-in Python module that helps you debug your code. Now I'm sure your favorite debugging tool is the print statement. You just insert print statements everywhere to see what's going on in your code. And that helps debug. I do that myself a lot. But with the Python debugger, you're able to set breakpoints in the code where you can examine different variable values. You can see if x is equal to 5 like you think it is at different points in the code. You can step forward line by line. In other words, execute one line of code at a time and see what's happening inside the program as each line executes. It's a lot easier to figure out what's going wrong in the code and you can show each line of code as it executes. So the debugger is pretty easy to use and it's a pretty useful tool in debugging code. It's this easy. You put this import Python debugger, import PDB at the top of your program and then you can set, this is basically a break, a break point. It's called set trace, the set trace function, PDB dot set underscore trace. And at this point you'll have a break point where you can examine different variable values and do whatever you want. So it's really that easy. You need two lines of code inserted into your program, and then you get command line operations that you can do a whole bunch of different things, which I'll demonstrate in a second. But here's a summary of some of the different command line operations. And they're just a single letter. So in will execute the next line of code. C will just continue executing the code and complete execution. L will list out the three lines before and after the line that the execution is on right now. So you can see where what three lines it just executed and the next three lines it's going to execute. S will let you step into a function call. Now if you use in when you're going into a function, it will execute the entire function and in will execute the next line after the function call. S lets you step into a function and execute the function itself line by line. B will let you set breakpoints. You can set multiple breakpoints inside the program. Just putting the B command will give you a list of all the breakpoints and what line numbers they're at. You can set B followed by an integer to set a breakpoint at a specific line number, or B followed by a function name to set a breakpoint at a function name, without the square brackets, of course. CL will clear all breakpoints. CL followed by an integer will clear the breakpoint at a specific line number. And the space is optional. You can put CL10 or CL space 10. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, you also have the option of printing. So you can just type a variable name, let's say x. You just type x at the command prompt and it will, it will print out the value of x. Or if you want to print out something crazier, you can, you can use the p statement with uh, parentheses and you can print out whatever you like. So let's look at this crazy little program that I typed up. It really doesn't do anything. It just sets some variable values, prints, does some mathematical functions on them. But you can see we have the import pdb that imports the Python debugger the statement right up here at the top of the program and then we set a breakpoint using pdb.setTrace right here at line 14 so right after we've designed some variable values for x, y, z, and n and then we call this transform function a couple times and do some print statements. Now let's look at how the program works and how the debugger can be used to analyze some of the, the functions. So when we execute the program we can see we enter the Python debugger command prompt and the next line that we'll execute is this transform function. So the first thing we might want to do is look at list L, which will show the previous three lines that are executed and the next three lines to be executed. And it shows where we are right now, transform. So we have the option now of using the N command to execute the next line, which would do the entire transform function and jump on to line 16. Or we can S to step into the transform function, line by line within the transform function, and see what's going on inside the function itself. I'm just going to use N, and we can see what happened there. And then we executed the transform function. Now, if we want to print out variable values, we can simply type the name of the variable value, X. We can see that X is 50 here. Y. Y is 60. We're not able to print out in like that because in is going to give us the next line of execution. So we can use the print command to print variable n if we want. n is 1000. So we've looked at the n to execute the next line of code, the l to list the previous and next three lines of code, and we typed in a variable name to see what the variable value is. We can also use the b command if we want to look at what other breakpoints we have set. 
Right now, none, but we can set another breakpoint at, let's say, line 17 if we like. And then just typing B will list out our breakpoints. And CL will clear breakpoints. Clear all breaks. Let's say yes. So we deleted our breakpoints. So using B and CL, we can set breakpoints and clear breakpoints. We can also set a breakpoint at a function name. If we want to set a breakpoint at, let's say, the transform function. Oops, I misspelled that. So now we have a breakpoint set at the beginning of the transform function. So we'll step into the transform function every time we enter that function. C will continue on to the next breakpoint, and that finishes our code. So that wraps up my video on the Python debugger. I hope you consider this a useful new tool that you can add to your toolbox in debugging Python code. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.